Hello YouTubers. In this video I am going to show you, how to make get extended battery life on OnePlus devices. Video is more updated with devices above OnePlus 3T. You can use this video to understand, how to make battery live longer on your smartphones. So, as you can see, I have a lot of applications installed on my smartphone, I have been keeping a track of the reasons why my battery drains faster or which apps are battery zombies. Almost all applications, keeps on syncing and thus acts as a reason of battery drainage, with or without your knowledge they are actually doing it. Those apps are actually checking for new mails, showing you relevant pop-ups etc. Once you install any applications, you grant a lot of permissions even without reading what they are, you simply give away all access which includes private data collection too. Google Maps keep on a track of your location data, even if your location service GPS is turned off, they can actually pinpoint where you are headed to, so it's eating your battery. It's all in by the term big data. It's a further detailed topic, I will explain all those in a separate tutorial. Here I will detail few steps that will actually help you save a lot of battery. I will just teach you how to do that. It's just few simple steps, I believe most of you might be knowing these, like disabling internet access to apps, that actually doesn't require any network access to run, or force stopping few apps, and also disabling the apps to run in background, when user is not using it. Today's Android phones pack big bright screens and high-end features that suck plenty of power, here's how to squeeze the most juice out of your battery. We're starting to expect more and more out of our devices every year, but developments in battery longevity haven't kept pace with other technological advances, I had this problem when I was running an OS, which was, I will just tell you, C. Current oxygen version is 5.0.2, so I had a lot of issues with oxygen version 5.0.1. Previous update was really a lot lot troublesome and was highly unstable, which includes issue with audio button, we have to manually turn up the volume while playing WhatsApp audio or playing video files, as audio goes on mute, automatically, always. I also figured out that, after latest update my device is much much more stable and performance is pretty impressive. I didn't face much battery drain or security issues or anything after latest update. Trust me guys, after the default music player's disappearance from OnePlus 3T, this is the best update I have seen after a while. Once I, it's like, um, if I don't have a proof of myself, like, um, if I'm not so sure about this update is battery capable of not a battery, then only I'll prefer this update. So, I've checked it myself and I have uh, figured, out, figured out that it is not a battery. Either. So, let's check on what else we can do. So. This is Paytm app which is mainly used in India. Uh, it's a made in Indian app. So just click on, click and hold on the same uh, Paytm icon. It's just simple. Click and hold, then a small pop-up menu will come, and click on App Info. So currently I have forced to stop this. So I don't want this bad this application to be running in the background when I'm not using it because anyways it will be eating my battery. So I just click on force stop and stop it. Second thing which you can do is um, battery. Click on battery. See in this option background activity. So if this is turned on it is saying that app can run in the background when it is not in use so see when you are not using an application why would you want it to be running in the background so it will be basically eating your battery it's so simple guys so i don't want this thing to be eating my battery so i just turned it off so see what will happen now is when the app is not uh, we are when when we this ad Paytm is mainly used for transferring funds or making payments at local grocery or even mobile recharge or anything. So I use it rarely, and whenever I am using it, I need this app to be running in the background only when I am using it. So when I'm not using it, why would uh, why would I enable it to to run in the background? So see, first of all, I don't trust any of these apps out there in the market. Second thing which we can do is there will be some applications which which does not actually require internet to um, to work. For example, MX Player. See, MX Player. Just click and hold on it and click on App Info. It is actually um, I haven't having forced to operate. It's not a problem. Let it be running in the background. No issues with that. So what I'm saying is. 
to um, when this app is working and if the if this particular app can access internet it will actually display some ads so this is also a way to stop ads actually so what we can do is just hit on data usage and you can see the defaults will be like this okay so i'm just changing it background data so enable usage of mobile data in the background why would this app use my mobile data in the background without my knowledge so i'm just turning it off and one more thing which you can do is wi-fi disabled on and data usage disabled is on so basically what this two options will be doing is it is cutting the internet access okay it is just taking away the internet access it is not while these two options are turned on your this mx player won't be able to use internet which means this app won't display any ads okay so it is like a premium version of mx player so in this tutorial covers how the apps which doesn't require internet and uh, if it is displaying some ads we can cut down the power like we can cut down the cable so that internet is not being accessed by this program so when it is not being accessed by a program it cannot display ads so annoying ads will be removed so the second advantage so coming back to the point clicking and holding and clicking on app info so i've turned these things on so that it won't uh, use internet so without using some internet it will save a little battery uh, so right now i'm clicking on i'm turning it off so that it won't run in the background so one of the another major 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 battery eater is facebook click on the app force to operate that whenever you're not using it you can stop force of it okay the next thing is you cannot um so this we can turn it off because you don't want this app to be using internet when you are you doesn't you are not using it okay you cannot disable internet for these two options because in order to run facebook you need internet so this can be applicable only for those apps which doesn't require an internet connection okay stop it uh, we can just stop it from accessing internet sorry i got a call in between mm, i think it will be coming back again mm, i should have put it on flight mode sorry guys then uh, like this um, and I have observed one more thing like whenever I use this Google Maps or Navi Maps or Ola Caps or Uber then apps like this and uh, this uh, these all these apps need internet connection and also location services which is gps global positioning satellite system so what these things what these guys are actually doing is pinpointing your location with the help of three satellites so which requires a lot of lot of lot of energy to pinpoint your location so see what you can do in this case is you can either turn it off okay so whenever you doesn't want your location to be monitored by some extra general applications like Google Maps or anything you can actually turn it sorry mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. then uh, the next thing um, ah, see this girl keeps on irritating and uh, that's the reason why men are not able to concentrate coming back to the point what was I talking your yeah location so just turn on this location services then keeping it on auto portrait i don't feel like uh, usually i don't uh, prefer it being into auto rotate because i don't use this thing much and uh, of course flight mode we cannot uh, it, it won't be helpful now then bluetooth also a battery eater you don't want bluetooth to be seriously no i don't think anyone is you to using bluetooth these days so just keep it off guys usually we we won't um, use these things actually so i don't know why the company is still giving us these things and the next thing which we can go around us um, what is it
yeah let's head over to display okay and you can turn on adaptive display this is one then night mode actually we can set it to turn automatically sunset to sunrise which will also enable us to save the battery and theme comparing with a lighter theme uh, i'll always prefer a darker theme because lighter theme always enables always you eat a lot of battery whereas darker theme doesn't eat much okay mm, that's the second step which you can do so just trust me guys watch up is another big 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 criminal sorry if i'm hurting anyone's feelings and um, see the this update 5.0.2 which goes battery data into a bit bit more detail so as you can see here comparatively see watch up 80 percent draining your battery so the os the android oxygen mix of this um, cross of this os is saying that my battery is being taken my battery is being eaten by an app called watch up see while in active use it's 1.2 1 hours and 23 minutes and while in background is 20 minutes in background means whenever uh, still watch up is like um, whenever we cannot shut it down because we have been it's like a part of a body we we, we will always use it um, if we turn this it's like app can run in the background when not in use so i don't want it to be turned on when i'm not using it battery optimization will go come back to later later time see so in this case if we force stop this app it won't work unless we click on it and turn it back on it won't happen Sorry, I got exposed to few of my chats. I hope um, ah, it's not a problem. Then finally, um, I can head to battery. And you can actually see what all apps are draining your battery. See, WhatsApp is taking 8% of battery from full charge, it seems. Then screen. Screen, of course, we cannot do anything. Android system. Android operating system is eating 3% of battery, which is negligible, I guess. Then Instagram, Facebook. Mm, then Wi-Fi. See, this is a killer guy. Google keyboard is actually taking one percent of battery which means it took 45 milliamperes sorry mh i don't know it's full form anyways it's big big comparatively it's a big amount mh is the key term used to refer um, electronic charges like capacity so if, for example if we are just buying a power bank we can just imagine okay how much it will be getting in the background eating up in the background so it's like 45 ms see once I, if we are buying a power bank it will be like 5000 ms or 10000 ms and my phone's battery i believe it is 3500 ms and once i fully charge it it will go up to 3500 ms and 1% of total app usage which means it is eating 45 ms it is comparatively comparing with other apps it's uh, it's not too small Mm, so why would this thing eat up my battery okay mm, we'll come back then another big thing is google play services which we cannot do anything so i think i have covered major questions then another thing which you can do is go to head to battery optimization not optimized there is no op applications running in the background which are not optimized all apps are optimized optimized means which restricts background activity of apps to improve battery life so we can guess it won't if we don't optimize it is actually eating a lot of battery okay done then heading up to advanced optimization uh, if we turn this off it will aggressively further uh, carve the battery life so I keep it turned on always it will be useful so if you are following all the steps trust me you will be saving a lot lot of battery and uh, 
and the next tutorial i'll be coming up with some new ideas tags so if you think this was helpful just don't forget to like and subscribe so now it's little guys keep learning thank you so much